Good morning, my, my name is Tulian. I'm going to talk about the article entitled Water Desalination with a Molybdenum Disulfide Singular Nanopore. Uh, I will start by presenting an introduction to the theme of the article and the, then, <clears throat> then I will explain what was the idea that motivated the work and after that I will present the results and make a, a brief discussion. Uh, Water is uh, one of the most abundant substances of the planet Earth. Uh, and is essential uh, of the maintenance of life in different aspects, uh, from direct consumption to the generation of electricity. Uh, despite uh, covering two-thirds of the Earth's surface, only one percent of the of this amount is drinking water, and there are already population that suffer from restricted or no access to, or having no access to this one. Uh, consider, considering that uh, clean water is a filthy resource, and the demand for it tends to grow with increasing population, one of the solutions that emerges is to reuse or filter the water. Uh, therefore, several studies have emerged in recent decades, aiming to meet the current and future demand for water on the planet. Uh, one of the the most techniques uh, in this context is seawater desalination, uh, which is a technique that already has industrial use, but can still be considered slow and costly from an energy point of view. Uh, to have an idea, in Brazil, one of the largest desalination plants filtered approximately 140 liters of water per second which is enough to supply about 80,000 people per day, but consumes approximately uh, 3 megawatts of electricity. For these reasons, studies in this area uh, contribute to increase the efficiency of these filtering techniques. A range of filtration techniques make us of what we call reverse osmosis. Uh, the basic idea which, uh, of which is showing this figure. So, uh, we two tanks separated by a semi-permeable membrane where one tank contains salt water and the water contains drink water. We apply a pressure in the opposite direction we call osmosis pressure. Uh, causing the solvent, in this case, water to be transported into the tank of purified water. Uh, the memory in this case does not allow the salt to escape into the drinking water tank, thus carrying out the desalination process. Uh, that said, I will present do to you a uh, study on water desalination with a molybdenum disulfide single layer nanopore using computational calculation of classical molecular. Uh, here we have a representation of the simulate system. Uh, we have a rich graphene pistol and a salt water tank followed uh, by a molybdenum disulfide membrane. Uh, that separates the tank with the salinated uh, water. A nanopore was made by removing the desired atoms with perforation ranging from uh, 20 to 6 angstroms uh, in area. Uh, the system contains around 16,000 atoms. Uh, the temperature, temperature uh, a constant 300 Kelvin and a pressure 
of one ATM. The simulation box is four by four nanometers in the plane of the memory and 13, in 13 nanometers in the direction normal of the memory. Uh, and periodic boundary conditions we were used in all the three directions. In the simulation, then uh, the piston presses the salinized water against the porous membrane, and the expected result is that the water flux, as well as the saturation by brain, is different for each geometry and pore size. Uh, three edge types were were considered for the pores. Uh, the first pore type, uh, which is labeled as a mixed in this study, is a combination of molybdenum and sulfur atoms. Uh, the other two pore types uh, are labeled as molybdenum only and sulfur only, uh, as their dense are terminate molybdenum and sulfur atoms, respectively. To investigate the relative performance of uh, molybdenum disulfide over other two-dimensional materials, a uh, graphene nanopore, which has been shown to, ber to, to be per promising for water desalination, is also considered. Uh, all results indicate the, that the molybdenum only uh, pore has the highest rate of water permeation, follow, permeation followed by the uh, mixing. Uh, and sulfur only the graphene pore for all the applied pressures. We can see in uh, this graph or Sorry, uh, we can see in this graph that water flux through the mixed pore is intermediate uh, between uh, molybdenum only and sulfur only nanopores. And the higher water flux uh, through uh, disulfide molybdenum nanopores compared with graphene nanopores imply uh, that for a desired water flux, a smaller applied pressure is needed with and will leave the no disulfide nanopores. Uh, we can see from the graph on the left uh, that that the water density as a function of distance also suggests that the molybdenum pore, uh, pore type allows for greater water concentration. Uh, followed by the mixed type and the sulfur type pore. The velocity at the center of the pore is also higher for the molybdenum type pore, as shown in the graph uh, on the right. The explanation for these results given by the authors uh, is that the hydrophilic and hydrophobic nature of two of the two atomic types justify the results. As we see in this picture, uh, the yellow uh, sulfur-related edges would be hydrophobic and therefore deflect the water molecules in the molybdenum type pore into the center of the pore and the sulfur type pore out of the pore. The molybdenum, on the other hand, uh, would be hydrophilic, so it would attract the, the molecules to the, to the center of the pore, allowing the aggressive flow throughout uh, the memory. Uh, this graph compares the performance of the membrane from the article and I present with the other membranes that are indistinctly or, the, or that have been the subject of other simulation studies. The y-axis represents the percentage of films rejection uh, which simulates simulate salt. And on the x-axis, 
uh, is the flow of filtered water per unit pressure. The lower the pressure you require to achieve a given flow, the lower the energy cost of the process, and therefore it is a more viable, including from an economic point of view. Uh, the molybdenum disulfide membrane with uh, molybdenum nanopore type achieve performance 2 to 5 degrees of magnitude higher than traditional membrane and about 70% higher than graphene nanopores, which were already promising. Finally, uh, it is possible to say that this work shows that molybdenum sulfide membranes are, are very promising for desalination technologies and can lead us to the improvement of this technique that is more and more essential to supply the world's demand for water. Thanks.